Have you ever wondered how your brace is made? Let's find out. Remember when you were scanned or measured for your brace? This is the CAD CAM scanner. It can make a 3D image of any body part. This 3D image is sent to Boston Brace. Next, they take one of these big rolls and carve your 3D scan into it. Here it goes. Your carving is then prepped to have a layer of white foam applied. This is what is on the inside of your brace. They mount your model onto a pole that gets hooked up to a vacuum. Then, the foam is heated in the oven to make it soft. Crafters take it out and wrap it around your model. The material is sucked tightly to the mold. As it cools, it stays in the right shape. Let's watch. Next, the foam hip pads are attached. These are really important because they help keep your brace from moving up on you while you wear it. Watch as he uses hot air to help glue the foam directly to the hip pad. Look at how smooth he was able to get the hip pad. Holes are poked to make suction for the next step. The pattern you see on the outside of your brace comes from paper that feels a lot like wrapping paper. The oven is programmed to heat up the hard plastic. Crafters put the hard plastic block into the oven. Once it's soft, they place the paper, ink side down, on the hot plastic. The heat melts the ink into the plastic where it stays forever. Let's watch how they put the plastic on. It's really important that they work together to ensure that there are no air bubbles. As they put the plastic on, the vacuum suctions the plastic to your model. Right now they are using a sprayer which sprays out really cold air. As you can see the braced plastic is already looking a lot harder. This brace will be left overnight to cure or harden completely. Once it's completely hardened it will be taken to the finishing room for the final touches such as the straps and padding. In the finishing room the rough edges are smoothed. Here is an example of how it's done on a foot brace. Next, they look at your x-ray to determine where to place the pads. These pads are what makes your spine straighter or gives correction in the brace. It's important that they are placed properly so the curve is corrected while the brace is worn. 
Sometimes both your thoughts apply the pads instead. The pads are put on by using glue and very hot air to make the foam stick together. We thought the air tool looked a lot like a hair dryer. Sometimes, depending on your specific curve, they make an opening on one side of the brace so the rib hump goes away. The ribs have space to move back into the proper position. They cover this opening with mesh for added comfort. They add the straps and the final finishing touches, and once this is done, the brace is packaged up, shipped back to your doctor's office, and ready to do its best to help you grow straight.